Hello everyone, Andrew Fixology, back in the normal setup today. This one, this time, uh, someone reached out to me about my services, and this is a standard uh, PlayStation 3, not the slim, the big boy, big fat boy. Um, I think they had like maybe like a 64 gigabyte internal or something like that, or 128 if I remember correctly. Um, he just recently got the red, the red. Um, Light of Death or Doom. So, if you yeah, move this over here. So, right here, I haven't hooked up the power. Oh, sorry, I turned it off. So I now have it hooked up to power, and it's off normally, like you would see here. I know this is probably bad, but my camera's really or my phone's really close to the desk. But if I touch it, briefly on yellow, red, red, red. So. And uh, when I do hook it up to a com when I do hook it up to a screen, um, it wouldn't even pull up on the screen, so that's why I'm not bothering even trying to show that. It would just be a waste of time at this point. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to open it up and try to figure out what is the dilemma here. Now a red now a red light of death can be numerous things. Um, the most common are hard drive failures and overheating. So I'm going to first look for the overheating, which is a very simple fix. You don't have to worry about doing anything special with that. Um, and then if it's not a, um, if it's not an overheat issue, then it is going to be something with the hard drive or a component, which I hope it's not a component. I mean, gr uh, granted, I did finally get a new multimeter that can finally test resistance, resistances, cap capacitance, yeah, capacitance, capacities, brain no work good. Um, as well as uh, uh, continuity. So my last one was a really crappy one, and that was like a $10 one, like a $10, $15, $20 one. I was like, oh, okay, that should, that should be enough. No, they can pretty much just check like the voltage ratings, and that's about it. So um, I do have a, a teardown set up next to me here because I have not taken apart a PS3 in, in, a, in a hot minute. So I'm just going to use that on the side here to hopefully then start tearing this down. Um, I just need to get to the point where the motherboard's out, so we will we'll go from there. So I do remember though, we do need to take the hard drive out, which is right on the side here, which we should be able to just, so I just gotta remove here, which I should just be able to pick open. Yep, there we go. And then it's held in with a screwdriver, which looks like a double zero. I'm gonna take that out real quick. And then the whole thing should just slide right out once I pop this guy off. Come on, hard drive. Yeah. There we go. All right. And I'm just going to do a shake test. I don't hear anything coming out of the hard drive. So that's a good indicator to me that there's nothing wrong with it. But at the same time, you know, it, it's a hard drive. There could be something messed up with the board on it or something like that. But it doesn't sound like the... Um, it doesn't sound like the discs are loose because you normally hear like a rattling or like a tink 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 as they knock against each other. Uh, I am seeing a good amount of dust though on the board itself. Like you see some up in here, right down here on the little barcode. So eh, maybe hinting more towards just uh, dirty. Well, put that to the side and we will continue on. Uh, so now I just got to... And now I remember, now it's telling me, all right, under here. Yeah, that dude, all right. I'm gonna hold on to the sticker, by the way. I mean, it's a 2003, I mean, it, this thing is made in 2009, uh, 2008, something like that. So it says the warranty will be void when you pull this. Oh boy, the warranty on a on a 12 year old system. Oh no, whatever will we do? And then let's see what's inside that. That is a looks like a Torx. Which one? I'm not sure. Um. And I didn't expect to run into Torx. I don't have my little iFixit kit with me. Uh, I'll be right back. Give me a minute. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, 
Yeah, so I left it in the car because that's part of my mobile kit. I don't have one for at home. So, naturally, it's all really, really cold considering our meteorologist messed up really bad. And they're like, oh, you're going to get one to three inches over the, next, over the weekend. Okay. No, we got nine. And it was like 18 to 19, 18 degrees without wind chill or something like that. So it was pretty, pretty chilly, unfortunately. And as much as I love my fellow Wisconsinites, or I don't know if this is something which is in the Midwest, but like, um, like, I don't know why it, I don't know why, um, when cold and rain and snow comes around, like we suddenly forget how to drive. It's, it's just crazy. I was doing a, cause I Uber also on the side. I can't tell you how many people just didn't know how to freaking drive in the snow. And it was just bonkers annoying. Ugh. Anywho, um, but everyone's fine. It was a fairly success successful night. Um, nothing crazy, just running people around. That's all. Nice, easy gig on top of this, and then uh, my normal job. Okay, so I gotta pull you out. Put you to the side. Okay. And then let's see here. So it's telling me there's a bunch of screws. Okay. That's not a big screwdriver, that's a flathead. Will that work though? It will, but it's not proper. And somebody's gonna freak out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them out in order that I'm pulling them out. Man, that takes up the whole freaking screen. I don't have a way of backing this thing up anymore. It's at the limit. I even have to get a bigger boom or something like that. Like a bigger, uh, bigger stick to hold the camera. Well, actually I do have a bigger one, but it has the wrong attachments. So, kind of, you know, kind of a weird spot for it. Oh, and plus the camera that I got, I think I already told you this, but the camera I got for Christmas that my parent, my mother so lovingly found or researched, um, the damn thing worked for all of, I don't know, two minutes? And then it just pooed out, just went, just conked out 100%. Not sure what's going on, but when I looked it up, apparently this is a well-known issue with that, so I was really disappointed. So I told her just to return it because what ended up on it happening is had like a, it's one of those smaller like, um, uh, what do you call them? Um, the action cameras. So like the GoPros. And I didn't realize that this one didn't have an option to go flat. So everything was all fish-eyed, which for doing repairs like this, I don't think you want it to be fish-eyed. So it's all bubbled up and looks really crazy. At least I think it would look dumb. So, um, she, so I returned it and uh, I just told her just to, Hang on to that. We'll, I can. I might. If she still wants to give me the money for Christmas, I, I'm looking for a, a decent camera. It's not going to break the bank. That can do everything I need it to do. Which is, you know, I want it to be small. Hopefully, a removable hard drive, removable, uh, removable memory card, and then something with a microphone, hopefully, on it. Or if not a microphone, then someplace where I can attach a microphone. And sorry if I sound winded, because I was just. Cause that's where I just because it was outside, cold rain outside and it's it's chilly so there we go so that's a small dude so I had these lined up in the way that I'm taking them out so I got three across the bottom three long boys and I got uh, two smaller ones and because it's so cold these ones have these screwdrivers have lost their have lost the magnetization. Or probably just because I haven't magnetized in a while. Because I thought when you ma Actually, when you get magnets colder, don't they become more efficient or stronger or something like that? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not that kind of scientist. I wanted to be a doctor, but... And unfortunately, that just didn't end up working out. Which, eh, you know, if I didn't puss out, I probably could have made it. But I got scared by the money. And the professor was really, uh, really harping on the, uh, the whole, you're going to be in a lot of debt thing. So that scared the hell out of me as an 18, 19 year old. So, yeah, I think he or she, I can't remember if it was he or she, but they, um, pretty sure they did it because they couldn't get into the field. So that's why they were a professor. I don't know. Cause isn't that like an old saying, like those who can't do teach or something like that. Or maybe they were a doctor at one point and then they retired. I don't know. 
this was long time ago. Well, not long, but you know, to some people out there, probably seems ancient. All right, so we're just getting through the top part here. And the thing I notice is that if this thing takes a while, I'm gonna have to break this one up into like two parts or something like that. Because this is a, uh, there should be two, so there should be two buttons on the back that I gotta push. Oh. And there's a ribbon holding something down here. Okay, let's rotate this. Ah. Okay, so it comes up, and there's supposed to be a ribbon. Aha! There's right where the disc drive is, so it's on the back side. I don't know how I'm going to be able to show this to you guys, but... Um, there it is. Yeah. That ribbon, right there. You know what? My little micro my electronic microscope here, which honestly is not even fantastic. That I might need to replace, too, because this thing did not work out as well as I thought it was. That was on the way, so let's move that. All right. This little guy right here. So, I'm just gonna take a spudger. There's a little, I don't know, I don't have a lot of rooms, but I'm gonna hopefully, I can zoom in a little bit on it. There's just a little black piece here. Flick it up. And then, I should be able to pull that just straight out. There you go, disconnected. And now the top, there we are. Oh, uh, not too dusty. The gentleman actually kept really good care of it. I mean, it has very little scuffs on it. The color's still nice and black, not like grayed out or like sun sun damage or anything like that. So, okay, put that back down by the cover. Okay, so we are getting there. Um, so I removed that cable. This guy did it from the back. I don't need a, I don't need the carburetor taken off. I just need a. Okay, so now there it looks like there's a network cable somewhere oh right here which is under this guy uh, maybe that's why they disconnected it okay i will disconnect from this end too so this one i think you just gotta pinch it hmm No. There we go. Okay. Just put that right there. All right, and then disconnect this guy. Okay. So this looks like the same RF antenna from the PS4. I mean, it is just an antenna, so I mean, you know, how, how special can it be? Uh. Okay, and then there's a cable for the, okay, so this guy. You know what I really wish is I wish I had the pen like the uh, Ultras did, like the S22 Ultras did, they come with that S pen, because then I can control, I can control the camera from just a pen so I can just click it when I want to pause instead of having to reach to pause it every time. Because this is probably really annoying that I'm doing all this while, um, I'm looking at a guide, which, you know, super professional, but, you know, if it, I look at it this way, I might do this for a living, but there's still things that, you know, not everybody remembers everything they do. People look up guides all the time, um, or, you know, they've done it for her, but then they just have a, they draw a blank on something. Uh, by the way, I'm moving the four components that are around, I believe this is the wireless board, the wireless module. So I disconnect all that, and then I taken the screws out for it. And then it should pop straight up. Um, what was I saying? People always look up guides, even if you're, I mean, hell, if probably, I mean, I'm not comparing myself to like a doctor or something like that, but hell, they, they're always reading um, documents, uh, tear, uh, not teardowns, I mean, I guess, oh, the human analog of a teardown, you know, by uh, anatomy and biology, cut up, stuff like that, so. Okay. Wireless module, again, not super dusty. A little bit of dust on the backside, but not horrible, that's for sure. Sorry, I apologize if that's loud on the um, on the video. Just a quick little wipe up with a microfiber. And that one's pristine, all right? Put you here off to the side. 
Okay, what is next? Uh, yeah, took that off. And then... It's telling me to disconnect the board as, as, as well. Um, this one should just be a... Just gotta pop this up, right? Yeah, there we go. Boop! Okay, put that next to those. Okay. There's another small part that needs to come out, apparently. What part is that? Oh, this piece down here? Oh, shit. So there's another module. Yeah. See, it's been a while. I want to say the last time I did it was probably when these were actually popular. I helped a, I helped a buddy with a... I think it was an HDMI port. I want to say that was my first HDMI port repair. And it actually worked until it until it got dropped. And then, well, yeah, nothing. When bits and pieces of green pop out of it, and you're like, oh, well, that's probably part of the board. Probably not good. Okay, put that up there. I just want to get the motherboard out, so I don't need to follow everything, but I do have to remove a bunch. Uh, so I got to remove the AC connector, which is this guy. So this should just pop straight up. There it is. Okay. And also disconnect for the back here. I'm trying to show as much as I can, but I don't have a, it's a narrow view. I mean, I could put it to ultra wide, but then it'll take, it'll cut, it'll have too much in it then. Well, if I do it this one time, then maybe, maybe I can get away with then just taking the board out next time I have a PS, PS3, you know, just show it off and be like, all right, I'll be back after I tear it down. And then you don't want to watch me deal with this crap. All right, so I got that off, that off, and then I have to remove some screws that are holding this plate in. So there should be one here, yep, one there, 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 and there should be two in the back somewhere. Oh, right here and right here. Mm. Holy balls. Okay, I gotta be careful. Okay, I gotta remember there's a ground attached to this one, so I gotta be careful about that. So you can see here, right there, there's a second little wire here. It's gotta remember to, I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a ground, so we just gotta remember to put that right there when I screw it back together. And then the other piece is, come on. Oh, it's nice having a second monitor to see this, but. And then I forgot that this keeps focusing on me. So I'm gonna, so I will adjust that real quick. That way it doesn't focus on my hands. I know, because everybody wants to see the, will you focus? Everybody wants to see my amazing ginger hands. Ah, man, these are tight. Well, I can definitely tell nobody's been in here before. You know what? I'm gonna actually. So I'm actually gonna note these real quick. Uh, exterior, AC, power, uh, Wi-Fi adapt. Um, Always good to have a, a nice little washer marker, marker that can be easily washed off. Okay, so now this should come off. Okay, this is the power component, right? Yep. So, take that off and put that here. Okay, and then I need to remove this. Actually, this just pops right out. Okay, perfect. 
but there is a ribbon cable on the bottom. So flip up the black. Come on. Oh, wait, you know what? This might be one we have to push. No, it's not. Huh. Maybe it's just been a while. Ah, uh, am I stupid? That should just flip. There we go. Okay, it was just stuck. All right. CD reader. Um, let's see here. Looks fairly clean. A little bit of use, but nothing horrible again. Okay. All right, we're starting to get down to the board. So there's one. There's one part here. That's like that. Uh. That gooey um, resistor shit. Okay, so this can I... Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna take you right out of the bottom instead. Make it easier, because then I gotta take this out anyways. Okay, it's starting to come back to me, starting to come back to me. There's a little module up here. Which, uh, if I'm reading this right, this should be the one that's for all the buttons. So the on, off, eject, etc. Right off, there we go. Oh, it's got little holes that I conveniently line up too, so that'll be nice and easy. And label that real quick. On off module mod. Okay, okay, so I believe I'm getting down now to removing the uh, cover for it. All right, and there's a lot of different shaped ones, so put you off to the side, the power. I'm not on top of anything. All right. So I'm just going to start at the back and work my way up to the front. Um, so do, 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 do. Here's one. And I can always move this stuff around. So it's easy for me. Hello. What's you? Hmm. Maybe a Samsung screw? Eh, oh well. Okay, that was towards the middle. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, at least they're at least they're nice when they you know it's not like an iPhone or anything like that where you know it's just completely empty, but like they show you arrows where the screw should go, so that's kinda nice. So if you put the arrows in each at each step, you're pretty much good, at least for the shields. Ah. How many did they say there are? There should be nine. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Huh. At least they're all around the edge. But then I know I'll have to remove here because that's the um, those are holding everything down. I think all the um, fans on top of stuff or the fins here. Yeah, I must have already taken out the screw then on accident for that other one. Okay, so now this should just pop right up, right? It should take... Whoops. Okay, 
Okay, what am I caught on? What am I caught on? Ah. Oh, there's a couple of clips down here. Showing it. So I have to pick up from here and here. Yeah, sure. How the hell am I supposed to live this? I'm not missing any screws. Oh, there we go. There's. There's caught. Screw for getting. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Come on. Ah, there we go. All right. So that piece is gonna come with. All right. Back case. Just a quick preliminary again. A little dusty. Nothing terrible. Oh, incoming air. Honestly, what I need is one of those small, strong hand vacs, like the USB ones. Because I those are those I think are fine for these kind of applications. As long as they're not blowing dust into stuff, but blowing out of it. Totally fine. Or sucking it out. Totally fine. There you go. Looks better already. Okay. Put you back by the other stuff. Okay. Man. 27 minutes of this? Sorry. Okay, so now there's a plastic tab holding... Aha! There's two on top. Okay, well, it popped right off. Okay. So. All right. I wonder how far I need to go together to test it. I'm imagining I just need to put that on and the AC adapter. Hmm. All right. Fan's not super dirty. I forgot how big the fans are on these things. Look at this. Good God. Yeah, not a lot coming out of it either. No, not much out of there. How do the fins look? Oh, pretty good. Oh, looks like one got nicked. But that wouldn't be enough to cause any problems though. I guess I can always try bending that one back into place. Just a little bit of love. There you go. Looks more pristine. But otherwise, no, that looks pretty good. Okay. So I got that off. So then the fan connector. I imagine he's going to the fan. So it's going to be this guy here. And that should just be able to pull straight up. Perfect. And now there's going to be some screws, I'm sure, to hold it in place. Oh, yeah. So keep using it. All right, so screws. 
I'm definitely telling you one thing though, once I figure out the problem, I'm going to be putting it back together off screen. So you guys don't have to watch me make a fool of myself. Oh, and there's the CMOS battery right over here. Whoa. Oh, it's a strap. Okay. Nothing important. But, I mean, there's always a possibility it could be that guy, too. Fan. Okay, so now this should just pop right out. Good. Man, that's a big fan. Is that a 140 or 160 mil? Look at this guy. Does he even tell me? Uh, no, it gives me the model number, though. So if you want one of those, there it is. Okay, so I can see some dust. Okay. All right, all right. So fan's going to go here. Out of the way. And then I have to remove the heat sinks. Uh, at least more modern systems, they pretty much all put them on just one side. You don't have to worry about doing like back and forth like I'm doing. This is annoying. But yeah, I guess for the times. And this is all just to get to the board. I mean, if it was one component on the top that I could see, then he could probably get away with it, but unfortunately it's not. Because it's a red light issue, it could be, could be anything. Uh, more commonly, like I said, it's either overheating or it's a heat sink problem, or, sorry, uh, or a um, hard drive problem. But if it's not the hard drive or an overheat, then we got other issues. Which I told my customer that it could be possibly all these or none of these, so I guess we'll find out, right? Heat sink. Well, good thing you guys can't really see my handwriting because it looks like a serial killer. But I'm, I'm, I'm not, I haven't been caught yet, so it doesn't count. Garbage. Alright, now what do I gotta do? Do I just gotta pry it off? Okay, so there's basically no thermal paste on it anymore. I mean, still wet, but like, look, there's like no coverage anymore. Same thing on the board. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go and say it's it's that's the problem. Obviously, I'm gonna keep looking at it first, but. Yeah, so we'll come back to this, but like, look, there's barely, like, there is thermal paste around the outside, but the heat's coming through the middle. And there's like, nothing in here, look, look at all those empty, look at all those empty shit. I mean, it's a cool design, it's like a lightning bolt struck it, but... Ew! <laughs> oh yeah, crushed my finger too. <laughs> oh, and damaged my thumb. It was a lot worse like two days ago. Oof, yeah, I'm gonna go with probably overheating just from the bad thermal paste, or, you know, the old thermal paste. It's not bad, it's just old now. So, I'm just gonna move that out of the way, sorry. So, okay, so we'll put this to the side for now, because I'll clean you off. Luckily, this isn't like the last one on the Xbox, but I, was, I know there was one, I know there's like one or two people that are like, oh my god, this, this, um, the razor on it. I was like, yeah, but it... If you would have seen how, if you would have felt how badly caked on that was, I don't know if you probably would have regretted to something else, something like that as well. I wish I had some of those plastic ones, the plastic razors, but I think those are just what have snapped off. All right, so I got that off. And then there should be two just holding it down here in the drive. Do I really have to remove these ones though? Yeah, it looks like I do. Damn. Okay. I need a slightly smaller screwdriver for that one. Where's my double? Man, all that covering. Look how much smaller this has gotten. And then what, should that just pop right off? And then I gotta take off 
the CMOS battery, which this I will test. But normally if the CMOS goes bad, it'll do like, it'll tell you like the date and time are all messed up. So I don't think it's the CMOS. Holy hell, will you come out of your home, please? I mean, not that I can't get another one of you or make one up myself, but I'd rather not because I don't have any of the fucking leads here right now. Wiggle. Jeebus. All right, fine. Um, tweezers. All I'm trying to do is get this stupid battery right here out. Ah! Hmm? Hmm. Okay. I don't think it's supposed to come off from that side, but nothing got broken, so I guess it'll be okay. Lane one. Let me put that down again just to make sure. Huh, okay, I guess that's how it's supposed to go. All right. It doesn't look like it should, but whatever. I can still put it back in this place. And then I should be able to just pull this. Uh, and it says I should just be able to pry off this piece. This, uh, give me a bigger spudger. There we go. All right. I guess this is the back one that's coming off first. Hey, there we go. Okay. It's got some little hooks on the end, too. So overall, not super dusty, honestly. Air. It looks like something might have been spilled on it, though, at one point. I don't know what that is. Huh. Unless that's just residual flux from when they first installed everything. Yeah, just might be. Okay, well. Plate off. That goo's still good though, so I'm not gonna worry about that. But I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go with my gut and say it's probably just that overheat issue. But unfortunately I can't do anything until I get the other side off. But since I have the board here, let's give it a quick little peek. Where is my regular toothbrush? Nowhere to be seen. Of course it's not. All right, well. Although I am seeing some heat buildup. Like if I, I don't know if I can show this, but okay. So right where the light is, you see this? It's a lot of heat distortion. It's it's heat being transferred to the board itself. I want to say there's some MOSFETs underneath here or something. No, there's nothing. Okay. So then, it's transferring from the other side then. Yeah, this is this just looks like residual flux, so it's probably just from the factory. Although I do have it looks like a resistor down here. That looks pretty beat up. Same thing with down here. It might be okay. Well I did get a new Ugh. I did get a new multimeter. So let's uh, let's see what I can do. Oh, and this multimeter actually comes with a way of testing for heat too, which I thought was pretty cool. All right. So we'll check, I guess we'll check continuity first. Actually, 
There should be continuity between these, right? Okay. No. Hmm. Okay, there's supposed to be continuity. All right. Um, what is it? Diode mode. in the wrong mode. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't th I think I'm in the wrong mode, but but the thing is, the thing I'm more confused about is there's no continuity. So I think we got a bad, I think we got something here bad. So I'm going to Mark that. Now, yeah, will there be the fix? I don't know. Because that one had continuity, but this one didn't. So we got that for sure. But that piece next to it was kind of brittle too, but I don't know how I can test that. Hold on. So we'll check continuity first. There's a point on each side. Nothing. But I do believe that's a diode mode. I do believe that's a diode. Maybe wrong mode. Look, I haven't used one of these in a while. All right, I'm still learning. All right. Hmm. So no continuity on this guy, continuity on this guy, and it is all like crusty and beaten up. That might be okay, but also this could be something that doesn't mean anything at the same time. I guess I don't know yet. Okay, so let's put you to the side. All right, well, let's finish taking it all the way apart, and then once I get it all the way apart, I will then... Oops. Um, I'll probably have to, yeah, so, then once I get this all fully apart, I'll probably have to pause this part and go to the next and then, uh, make some room for this on my computer, which that's not the problem, just get it off my phone is, and then I'll probably have to make a second part of it, which I don't know if you guys like that style at all, I don't have any, nobody's left me any comments yet for that, so. Just let me know if you like seeing just the full length thing of me dip, me dicking around like a moron, or would you rather just see the short, concise thing where it's like, you know, 15, 20 minutes, here's what's wrong, here's me doing it, here's me fixing it, here's it back together. Be pretty helpful. All right. So then, yeah, not a lot of dust. No, uh, that's okay. And then I'll have to double check the uh, battery at some point. But, ugh. So that point on here is right down. So we got that guy. So that means it's on this. So it connects from other side too. Or where does it connect from? Yeah, from one of these ma one of these guys. And one of them's dirty. Nothing. No continuity, really? Oh wait, hold on. I think the ends are just a little dirty. Just test it again on something like this. Okay. Maybe these aren't supposed to have anything like that. Okay, well, 
Those don't look particularly burnt out. I mean, they're a little discolored on the top. We might have a bad one there. I mean, I'm still thinking it's probably just the overheat. I mean, there's no thermal paste left on it, or barely any, you know? And that one's just got the little rubber absorbent mat on it. You know what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it here for this video. Since we got it all the way down to the board, I'm gonna do some off some off screen testing and uh, uh, stuff to see what's going on with it. Um, I'm gonna go with my gut and say it's still the overheat, but the fact that it looks like we do have a blown capacitor. No, not a capacitor, that's, a, that's gotta be a resistor, right? On the other side. Um, makes me think there might be something more going on with the board, but, um, so I will cut this video here, so I'll be linking a part two, and the part two will be me hopefully fixing the issue, um, putting it back together, and then testing it to show you. And I know I have still some old PS3 games lying around, because I know I think, I think I have Unreal Tournament still lying around, so I will get back to you guys then, and, uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, let me know. And also, if there are, outside of like eBay, is there any good places to get older Sony parts? Because I feel like I might need to get a couple of those components, a couple of these guys, it looks like. So, um, to the next one, which hopefully will be another PlayStation. It'll be a PS1 that I recently picked up. Um, hopefully that one will be easier to fix, though. I will talk to you all later. Bye.